1 John chapter 1, verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. The early Christians had similar problems like we do. They had a problem called nominalism. And nominalism is when people have accepted something, they profess it, but they don't practice it. And there are a lot of Christians who are Christians in name. They've gone through a church ritual, probably been baptized, uh, or they go to church and are members of the church, but do not live the Christian life. And that was what John was addressing in the early church and is still addressing now. Because when we invite Jesus Christ to come into our lives, we receive God's light. That is the first step to the Christian life, receiving the light of God into our beings, into our spirits. But after doing that, we must walk in the light. We must live in the light. So the light doesn't just live in us. We must live in it. The Christian life must be lived out. And so John is saying that if we don't do that, then we are deceiving ourselves. We, we, we are lying. Our Christian life becomes a lie. So I trust that none of us want to get into a point where we are living out a lie. So what happens when we receive Christ but are not living for him? And that's what we want to address today. How do we practice the truth? In order to practice the truth that we have received, first, we must know the truth. We must know the truth. The truth is not just an information. The truth is a person. His name is Jesus. But we know Jesus through the word of God, by encountering the word of God. And we know Jesus through the Holy Spirit. So for us to know the truth, that is Christ Jesus himself from the word of God. We must go beyond memorizing scripture, quoting scripture, and knowing verses of the Bible. We must rightly divide the word of truth. That means we must be able to properly interpret scripture. Not just know verses, but interpret it well. And one basic way to interpret scripture well is to read all the Bible in the light of Jesus Christ. So when you read something in the Old Testament, you have to see how it squares up with Jesus Christ because he is the center of the Christian faith. We must know God's truth. Secondly, we must receive God's truth. After knowing it, we must receive it. The Christian life is a different life from all other lives. Jesus Christ says that it's a life that is on the narrow road and the rest of the world is on the broad road. So many times what Jesus tells us to do is very opposite from what our culture tells us to do, what society tells us to do, and what we want to do. So when we have discovered the truth of God, we must receive it. We must allow it to form our foundation for life. And thirdly, after we have known the truth, received the truth, we must apply the truth. That's where it gets hard, how to really apply it to our day-to-day -day life, in the way we speak, uh, in, in the way we make friends, uh, in the places we go, in the way we think. All of it must be shaped by the truth we have come to know. It's not always achievable every day, but that is the endeavor of the Christian. That is what we strive to do. That is what we work our way towards, that we will know the truth, receive the truth, and apply the truth. And until we do that, our lives will be a lie. We will claim something and not live it. And that is called hypocrisy, and God help us not to be hypocritical Christians. We must know his truth, receive his truth, and apply his truth. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to be true to you. I desire to live the life you have given to me to your glory. In Jesus' name, amen.
and amen. Well, I'll be with you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you. <music>